Okay, we continue the mesh menu and in this system I want to explain line cut to cut the polygon and create a new edge and surface to object. I insert a cube here and make it editable. I assign a darker matter layer to that. Better see the line and cuts. And it does not matter for this tool when you are in uh, just you have to in a component and just model mode. You can go to the polygon edge and point mode. We are going to the point mode to see the points. As you can see, in dynamic uh, toolbar menu here, we have a, <clears throat> we have a line cut tool here. It's like uh, like a knife. Or you can access it from mesh line cut. All of these mesh tools, you can access them in a right click when you are in a component mode. There are list all of the tools here, but in a mesh, it's organized here that I want to explain and make tutorial in organized tutorials. Line cut. Okay. <clears throat> the first option is visible only. Visible only, it means you can see how this tool works. As you can see, it's automatically a snap to the line and points because of the uh, auto snap tool. You can simply click and another click because in a default, the single line is active. Just click and click. As you can see in this direction, this angle of the <coughs> camera, it will be cut. Just you have to rotate and as you can see, it just cut the view. It's only in your view does not cut the back face of the polygon but it create end gun uh, how you can see the end gun line that the end gun line are the mm, light blue lines that in a filter you can see end gun lines and as you can see you can see the end gun line they are virtual line that after that i explained a previous lesson you can go into the mesh and end gun you can remove that angle. If you click and remove the angle, those virtual line <coughs> connect to uh, convert to the real line. Because you just cut the visible, this uh, point will be created here and does not create a line here. And this is an create angle that is bad for modeling. Okay, so the filter, you can see the angles that. Okay. There are uh, some kind of um, green lines, okay? It's light green lines. Okay, Ctrl Z. Or you can simply click and click or snap anyone that you want and cut your plane here like this. Okay, you can simply click and cut. Okay. Uh, visible only. If you untick that, if you untick that, the slice mode will be active and we have a lot of options there. There. Uh, the first mode is cut. It just cut and create a line. You can just simply uncut it. If you do not want to a single line, you can uh, create, you can untick that and uh, it's create for you a polygon cut you can click 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 and continue your cut or you can simply go in back or hit escape it will be create a, a real uh, kind of <coughs> a segment here and the end gone uh, lines here so it's just uh, and as you can see, because it's uh, we uh, deactivate the visible only, it's cut through the object and then cut the back. For not confusing, we uh, disable or uh, turn off the end gun lines. <coughs> and as you can see, it's cut all the object because we deactivated selected only edge. That's uh, visible only. Ctrl Z. So I like uh, uh, polygon mode. Here in a split, if you click and click, if you do not want to continue, you can escape. It's cut and split. So we are going to 
select rectangle and with the Torelant uh, selection, click and drag. Oh, we are in a point mode, sorry. Going to the polygon mode, and as you can see, it's split it. And I explain more, you can, as you can see, there are a split, but there are one object. If you want, you can go in here and uh, split it to make two objects that you want. I explain them more. So this cut mode, it's cut and also split the object. Ctrl Z. The, another interesting part is uh, remove part A. For example, if you click and drag, as you can see, it removed that part for you. Or if you want to remove part B, you can simply click and drag and remove part B. If you just want to cancel or stop the tool, just rotate. It's automatically canceled the tool for you. So this is a single. If you click the single, you can just uh, draw a single line here if you want. As you can see, it just creates a line here if you were going point mode. Oh, be careful about that. You're in a cut mode if you want. A single line. It will be cut object there. Uh, but if you active infinite line, if you click and click here, it automatically continue the end, beginning and the end of the line. This is an infinite. Go and go into the infinite. Going uh, in a direction of your uh, camera. For example, if you go in here, it's uh, nice to going here you can hold and shift it quantizing uh, 45 degree this is a constraint angle if you do not want to hold and shift you can activate the constraint angle and uh, specify the angle here it's automatically just you can drag it as you can see because of the infinite the cut is active it's going infinitely infinitely cut the object so if you want to cut accurate you have to go to auto uh, other views in top, front, or right. So I deactivated that on the cut mode. Restrict to selection. Uh, for example, I go into the polygon on a, oh, sorry. Um, select that polygon. Oh, God. Select polygon and go into the line cut and restrict to the selection. If I cut in this direction, Cut, cut, cut. Oh, sorry. Escape. And as you can see, it does not cut anywhere except that polygon that you selected. This is because of the restrict to selection. Okay. Go into the point mode. Another tool is the selected cuts. If you activate that and uh, cut and cut, you can go back, select it here. And as you can see, it's cut uh, in your angle. In this direction, be, be careful because <clears throat> we deactivated the visible only. And after that, we select going to the select mode and be careful going to the edge mode. As you can see, it automatically select all of that line that you cut because of the uh, select cuts. Well, I want to be activated. Important thing: connect cut edges. As you can see, if you are in a uh, polygon cut, as you can see, if, the, if, we, if we inactivate that, we cut, cut, and cut. As you can see, if you move, select object, it does not cut any or create any line here because we deactivated the connected edges. But it just creates a, a cut with a point here. So if you activate the connect cut edges, if you use a polygon cut, it will be connect those lines and create a point here and the end corresponding end guns. So be careful about that option. Preserve, uh, I explained auto snap angle and it's in a real time cut you can see. The last thing is preserve end gun curvature. To explain that, I insert a polygon there, assign the dark material to that, make it editable. As you can see, it's the four gun here and it's not end gun. 
if you are going a polygon pen as I, as I said before holding shift and click to create a line there and select that line and select that point and bring it down as you can see it's cut uh, this is an I think mm, end gun that we have a curve to that this is an end gun curve where you cut it break it that line if you go into the filter and active end gun line as you can see this is an end gun it's not real uh, edges if you are going to the end line because the preserved end gun curvature this is an end gun curvature as you can see this is an end gun we have five gun here and cut this angle as you can see it's preserved the curvature and just add a line to that but if you deactivate the polygon the preserve or untick the preserve end gun curvature if you cut it's uh, change the topology of the, that curvature as you can see it does not preserve that curvature and the pole topology of that uh, end gun so it's important to be active okay this is line cut and the last thing I want to explain the uh, color coding of that bring that to color coding going to the plane and reduce the number of the segments then make it editable okay going to the point mode if you use a line cut going here going here I going to the there and to the end and that's it do not hit the escape okay do not hit the escape because you exit the uh, tools before hitting es escape <clears throat> I want to explain the co uh, color code of that the green uh, lines in this mode it means the line cut tool is on a vertex or so the point the orange uh, <clears throat> uh, points means that the tool is on edge the point of the line cut is on edge and the light blue means that uh, point is on a polygon before it in escape you can uh, click and drag and simply change your you can turn off the end guns you can change the position of the as you can see the auto snap is automatically and you can change the position of your cut you can simply changing position of your cut if you want if you want to delete that point hold control and click on that you can delete that point for uh, if you hold shift and click and drag you can add a point there if you want and then change it so do not worry after uh, you can hold in control and click and after drawing your uh, line you can go back and before you can go in back and before exiting the software going back and you can uh, edit it if you want so do not uh, remember for uh, deleting that point control click or if you want to add point holding shift and click and drag and after that you can uh, interactively change your points and after that going to the another tool it will be accepted tool and the uh, line cut will be executed and everything is done and you cannot go back and edit edit that okay this is all about uh, line cut hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release